The 2024 Toyota Tacoma is perhaps the most highly anticipated truck of this year since it's completely redesigned from the ground up. With a brand new body, engine configurations, platforms, there are more trims available, not to mention a ton of new upgrades like isodynamic seats, compatible aftermarket accessories, bigger tires, it really is hard not to be excited about it. Now, even though we're in the infancy stages of this truck in this video, I want to talk about why the 2024 Tacoma might be the one to wait for. Now, I know that is a pretty bold statement, so after watching this video, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Yes, this is quite the statement, especially it being so early on and I haven't even driven it, nor have we really seen people with these trucks on the road just yet. And before I get even further, you don't have to agree with me on this, nor is this video intended to persuade you that the 2024 year model is 100% right for everyone out there. And also, just to be clear, I'm not being paid to say any of this. But I've spent years thinking about what I would want improved in my own Tacoma and taking things into my own hands and making those changes myself. And attending SEMA a short while ago was great because there were so many of the new redesigned 2024 Tacomas there. Plus, I got to talk to the chief Tacoma engineer and see the truck up close for myself. So being a current Tacoma owner and now just based on what I've seen so far with the new model, I've convinced myself that this Tacoma year is the one to wait for. So again, I went to SEMA and was at Toyota's booth and there was an array of Tacomas here, everything from SR5s to trail hunters to concept trucks. And here's the one that fascinated me the most, the X-Runner, built for the street. And it's really concept trucks like these that give you a great idea of what the 2024 Tacoma is all about. Okay, so if we take this X-Runner Tacoma, this is a very interesting truck. It's still a concept, like I mentioned. This was done by Cal-T Research and the Toyota Build Team, but contrary to what we've seen with every other 2024 Tacoma, which seems to be lifted, and there's a lot here at the show, this one is actually lowered, as you can see. That's of course because this was built for street performance and the way they achieved this was actually by adapting the Tundra air suspension. There is a large functional hood scoop, custom aero fairings and vents. This Tacoma, like the other 2024s, is on the TNGA F platform, although it has a slightly larger track width and that is of course for better stability. The TNGA F platform is actually a big part of this new redesign. It was developed for body on frame vehicles and currently supports the new Tundra, Land Cruiser, Sequoia, LX600, and now Tacoma, of course. Using the same platform in all of these trucks allows for many benefits, including the fact that a lot of parts are interchangeable. It's why the Tundra suspension and more, as you'll see, could be used on this X Runner build. It's got upper control arms from a Tundra. You could see brakes also from the Tundra. But that's not the only thing that's Tundrified about this truck. This truck, if you can believe it or not, actually has the 3.4 liter twin turbocharged V6 from the Tundra that puts out 421 horsepower. Insane for a Tacoma. I'm sure those of you guys who are fans of the V6 in the Tacoma just had your ears perk up a little bit. I also quickly peeked on the inside, which was highly customized as well, with red leather throughout and custom X-Runner badging. This truck is not a double cab, so there's minimal room in the back. And if this concept did come to light, it would be cool if it came in the four-door configuration, although I realize that would probably degrade performance. Overall, built and beefed up for the streets, and it's really cool to see something like this, especially alongside all these other Tacomas that are more off-road or overland oriented. I can certainly appreciate that they brought this concept back to light and bringing something different to the table here at the SEMA 2023 show. 
I don't think many of us think of street truck when we think of a Tacoma necessarily, but again, this concept showcases the possibilities of what the redesign has allowed for, a truck with a whole different purpose. And just to quickly give you a brief overview of another 2024 Tacoma, this is the top of the line Trail Hunter trim. This truck of course was built for an entirely different purpose than say the X Runner concept was. Obviously it was built more for overlanding and exploring. So to achieve that, it's obviously lifted higher than the X Runner of course. We've got Old Man Emu suspension, of course, you have rock rails and all-terrain tires that you could make it anywhere. Specifically, in the size 265-70 R18, which is almost a 33-inch tire. And a lot of Overland-ready accessories. I really like this rooftop tent. Look how sweet this is. With a custom front skid plate, upper control arms that allow for more travel, ARB bumper, I have to say, Toyota has built a fantastic Overland rig. Now I didn't have enough time to show you guys this truck all opened up like I did with the X Runner, but a few more things I want to point out were that this truck will come with the iForce Max, which is the turbocharged hybrid four cylinder, and it comes with a high mount air intake. That all puts out 326 horsepower, which I think is plenty for a midsize. Also all of the accents are bronze, which gives it a very distinct look from the rest of the trims too. I'm also excited about the multi-link rear suspension. I think it'll make the truck ride much better and, like the new TRD Pro, the 3-inch increase in width for the Trail Hunter trim looks awesome. Although, I think there was a missed opportunity for longer travel here. But regardless, I like all of the upgrades that were made. And to be clear, the Trail Hunter is not a concept vehicle. It's an actual available grade that will be offered in 2024, and I think it'll be a hit. It's only a matter of time before more people get to see them up close and really appreciate them for how they are. And if you're taking a look at other trims like the TRD Pro, the TRD Off-Road, the TRD Sport, the Limited, each of them are still, of course, Tacomas, but built for their own individual purpose, and they excel in their own areas. Okay, so here at SEMA we've looked at a lot of different Tacomas. One of my favorite being the X Runner concept. I think that was everyone's. That was really, really cool. But I still haven't answered the question yet of why I think the year 2024 really is the one to wait for if you're considering a Toyota Tacoma. Now, don't get me wrong, I of course own a previous model year that if you watch my channel, you know I love and adore and will not give up. But really, seeing the dichotomy between concept trucks like the X Runner and some of the standard 2024 Tacomas, like this Trail Hunter behind me, I think they're perfect examples of really how versatile and flexible the 2024 Tacoma can be for anybody buddy's lifestyle. That's not to say that the previous model years weren't very versatile or flexible, but now with the 2024s, you really can build the truck the way you want. I can really respect and I absolutely love that these trucks were engineered from the ground up, they were designed, and they were really put together for the end user. Being on the F platform, we saw that the X Runner, for example, which is of course a street performance truck, was able to be tundrified or have a lot of different parts from the Toyota a tundra adapted to it. The versatility of the F platform I'm sure is going to be great on the back end of Toyota for production reasons, but I could also see end users and aftermarket companies especially appreciating how adaptable parts are going to be across trucks. But it's not just the F platform that makes the 2024 model Tacoma really the one I think to wait for. I see on other models like the Trail Hunter behind me, the TRD Pro, the SR5, plenty of examples of how Toyota has really built this truck with the consumer in mind. For example, you take the wheel wells, these are much bigger than in the previous generation. You can really fit a larger tire, which Toyota knows a lot of Tacoma owners do. In the bed, there's a little cutout where you can fit an air compressor. There's auxiliary switches already pre-wired inside the cab. Even the front bumper, I see that it's designed almost in a way where the lines make it really easy to cut because Toyota knows that a lot of 
owners are gonna put on their own front bumpers. And I don't think these are things that should be overlooked because all these things are things I've had to do in my previous gen Tacoma. Like I've had to cut to fit larger size tires. I've cut into the bed to fit an air compressor before. I have cut my bumper to fit an aftermarket one and I've done a lot of custom wiring to fit switches and different accessories. And I know it can't just be me because you guys follow along in these videos too. But even if you're not somebody who wants to modify your truck, you want to go to the dealership and purchase a Tacoma already built up, already fully featured, and don't want to touch it, well, in the 2024 Tacoma lineup, there are so many more options. You've got the Limited, a really platinum truck with adaptable variable suspension, the Trail Hunter if you really like overlanding. Even here at the SEMA show, they have a whole section dedicated to AAP or associated accessory products or basically aftermarket products you can outfit your truck with directly from the dealership so that you don't have to DIY. This is another thing I could see being big because when you DIY install something for your own Tacoma, one downside is not being able to maintain your warranty. So I think many people will take advantage of AAPs for that reason. It'll be a hassle-free way to modify and customize your truck to your liking. I just wanna say, I think the point of this video is when I see a really cool concept like this, I see a lot of promise. The X Runner might not be for everyone, just like the TRD Pro might not be for everyone, but at the end of the day, they're both Tacomas, they're both built on the same great platform, and it's amazing seeing the two different extremes of the same truck. There are really just so many possibilities I see with this truck. You can go as mild or wild as you want, and that's what I love about it. Now it's hard to predict how the 2024 Tacoma will actually be perceived until it's in the hands of the masses. Again, we're very much in the infancy stages of this truck. You know, we see a lot here, but it'll be exciting to get behind the wheel and really drive one of these things because that of course is a big factor in what makes a vehicle great. I know a lot of you have thoughts about what the price will be, which we still don't know. And also the move from a V6 to a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, which I don't want to speak on too much until I actually get a chance to drive one of them. Maybe my mind will change after that, but for now, I'm impressed by the power figures. And just based on everything else I've seen so far and mentioned in this video, I'd argue this 2024 is the best Tacoma all around yet and worth the wait for many people interested in a mid-sized truck. And on the truck that's already so versatile, an enthusiast like myself can only really be excited for what's to come. I love a company that listens to its customers, and I think that's what we have here.